Hey friends, welcome to the new episode of Code with Jess. And today we're going to do lead code number 151, reverse words in a string. If the input is the sky is blue and the output will be blue is the sky the. And we can see the edge cases includes the leading and trailing spaces. And we need to delete all the extra spaces in between two words. So if we use this as an example, the result will be world. Hello. So my approach is to reverse the string, and it will look like this. And as we go through the list, we reverse each word and escape the spaces. So we'll have the left pointer and the right pointer. If the left pointer is pointing to an empty space, we move both pointers forward like so. If we see the left pointer is pointing to a non-empty character, then we move the right pointer until the red pointer hits in space. That means that we have a, a valid word. So we reverse the word and put it to our result string. After that, we set the left pointer to the right pointer's position and we check for the spaces again. And again, the left pointer reached to a non-space character, then we move the right pointer until it hits the space, then we reverse the string. After that, we set the left pointer to the right pointer and keep moving towards the end of the string. And that's how we get the result. However, if we have this case, and when the right pointer is pointing to the last character of the string, um, our loop ends, so that makes us will have to check after the iteration and see if we're reaching this scenario, then we'll have to do the reverse again. Now let's code this problem. So before everything, I will check if the input is valid, if the string is null or it doesn't have anything, we return itself. Otherwise, let me create a string builder to hold our result. And I'll have these two pointers pointing to the beginning of the string. Next step, we're going to reverse the string. We will need a reverse string method. After that, we iterate through each character of the string with well loop. We check if the left pointer is pointing to an empty space. If so, we move both left and right pointer. Otherwise, it means that the left pointer is not pointing to a space. So we just need to check if the right pointer is pointing to the empty space. If it's not, then we move the right pointer. Otherwise, that means the left pointer is not pointing to an empty space, but the right pointer is pointing to empty space, like so. That means we have a complete word and we want to reverse it and put it into our result.
And don't forget to space. Then we move the left pointer to the right pointer's position. So after this iteration, we need to check one more edge case. That's when the left is pointing to a valid character and the right pointer is pointing to the end of the word. That means we also need to reverse this word. So we check if left is less than right and also left pointer is not pointing to a space. Then we do this again. Now we're ready to return the result. So if the string builder's length is greater than one, because it's also possible that we have empty string like this. If we have an empty string like this, our, our string builder will look like an empty string. So if the string builder's length is greater than one, then we return string builder to string, but we need to exclude the last empty space that we added. Otherwise, we return an empty. Now that we just need to write this reverse string method, given a string, I convert it into a character array and also used a left pointer and the right pointer, but left pointer pointing to the beginning of the string and the right pointer pointing to the end of the string. Then we move the left pointer and the right pointer towards the center and switch the characters on the left position and the right position. And after that, we return a new string with the reversed character array. Let's take a look at it from the top. We get an input as a string. We check if it's null or if it has a valid length. Then we create a string builder to hold our results, a left pointer and a right pointer, and then we reverse the input string. While right pointer is less than the string length, we check the left pointer first to see if it's pointing to a space. If it is, then we move both left and right pointer. Otherwise, that means the left pointer is pointing to a valid character, then we check the right pointer. If it's also pointing to a valid character, then we move the right pointer. Otherwise, that means the left pointer is pointing to a valid character, but the right pointer is pointing to an empty space. In that case, we reverse the word back and append it to our result. Then we move our left pointer to the right pointer's position. Now when the right pointer is pointing to the very end of the string, we check if the left pointer is less than right pointer and the left pointer is pointing to a valid character. That means we need to do this append operation again with the reversed word. By the end, we check if the string builder's length is greater than one. If it is, then we return the substring dot to string and remove the last empty space. Otherwise, we return an empty string. So for this reverse string method, we have a string as input. We convert it to a character array. We have the left pointer pointing to the beginning of the string, the right pointer pointing to the end of the string. And while left is less than right, we switch those two characters and move the pointers. By the end, we return the new string with the reversed character array. Actually, we have a mistake here. For this case, the left pointer needs to point into a non-empty space. That means we have a valid word. Now let's run it. Okay, this test case is valid. Let's try some more edge cases. If I add some empty spaces in between the words, it also passes. 
And what if I only have empty spaces? That also works. Let me try a test case with trailing spaces. It also worked. Let's submit it. Okay. So since we're going through the string twice to reverse it and reverse it back, the time complexity would be O two times N, which is O N. And that's it. See you next time.